Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video on how to do an image search in a loop. Right now, I have a simple image search up. It's going to search for 1.png, which is just a picture of this number one or this number one, basically the number one. It's included in the same folder as this project, so I don't need to put the path with this. If it finds it, it's going to move the mouse to it. If it doesn't find it, it's going to say error. We're going to make it loop so this loops 10 times. You can use a while loop, do until loop, a for loop. I'm going to use a while loop just because it's easier for me. To start, I'm going to make a new variable called i and I'm going to set it equal to zero. And then I'm going to do a while loop. So I'm going to say while variable i is less than 10, which we're going to say is the max number of times we want it to loop. I tab here, press enter, say when. So while i is less than 10, we're going to do an image search. If the result is equal to one, we're going to move the mouse to it. But let's also set i, our variable, to equal 10 because then it'll break out of this loop. See what happens if it finds our image, or sorry, our image number one, on the first try. It's gonna continue to go 10 times, unless we set i to 10. Now what we're also gonna do is, for testing purposes, we're gonna change this uh, tooltip to the value of i, so we can see how many times it's a loop. And then we're also going to, let's keep this sleep here. We gotta make sure to increment i as well. So I'm going to blow this sleep, I'm gonna do i equals i plus one. So now it does. It didn't find the image, it's going to increase the value of i by one until it reaches 10 and then it will exit. Now just to make it easier for demonstration, I'm going to set a sleep right now for two seconds so I have time enough to get, the, uh, get an image up that'll cover the screen so we can't see the image I'm searching for. All right, I'm going to run the script now and let's see what happens. So we got zero, one, two, three, four, Five. We've looped five times. Six. Let's go ahead and remove that image. And as you can see, the mouse is moving on its own to the first instance of one that it found. And that's how you do an image search in a loop. Hope you guys enjoyed it.